Okay, so can you tell me who you are and what your connection is with North Kilworth? Yes, my name is Peter Lawrence. The connection with North Kilworth is that my family and I moved down here in 1987 uh, from Ashby de la Zouche in North West Leicestershire. We came down here to, I came down here to manage an agricultural dealership in South Kilworth, uh, which is subsequently uh, uh, finished. But I managed to get another job with Massey Ferguson over at uh, Coventry and hence that's probably one of my interests in this tractor. Okay, could you tell us about this magnificent beast you've got behind you? Well, it's a 1964 uh, Massey Ferguson 35X. It's one of the last that they made at their Banner Lane factory at Coventry. Uh, when I bought it, it was in a, a fairly sorry state. It had been a donor tractor on a sugar beet harvester, so there was lots of things on it that shouldn't have been on it and lots of things missing as well. So it took me about a three year, took about a three year project to restore it to its former glory in my garage here in Back Street. Um, it, uh, it, was, it was a slow process, uh, I went through everything. The only thing I, I didn't do was the engine. The engine is more or less as it was, except for a full service and injectors and all that type of thing. Um, but all the rest, I did the clutch, uh, gearbox, uh, rear axle, hydraulics, and a few other things. Okay. So, is this something that you do yourself, or is there a group of uh, fellow enthusiasts in the area? Yes, there's a, a club in Lutterworth, which, which I'm chairman of. A um, group of like-minded people that have mostly got tractors and we've restored them or they're in the original condition and we like to use them uh, in a field, pr preferably ploughing and we've managed to carry on doing that uh, through this year although it has been difficult with the lockdown regulations uh, appertaining at the time uh, we have had one or two little uh, impropertu uh, uh, days on with three or four of us operating just to keep our eye in uh, to doing what we like doing and we've been fortunate that uh, some farmers have been very kind to us and let us have uh, a field to use um, on uh, on Sunday September the 6th of this year uh, we had a uh, one of those days on Station Road at uh, North Kilworth and uh, it was a field that had formerly been used by Gandhi's Roses when they were uh, performing in the village and uh, we had a lovely day, a nice sunny day where we all managed to have a plot and do an opening split and plough and then do a finishing furrow so it was just nearly as good as being at a plough match so we had a very successful day and then other things we do uh, usually on Boxing Day we do a, a, a road run uh, first thing on Boxing Day every year and we have a route uh, which we change each year then we usually finish up at one of the local hostelries for a, a lunch at the pub uh, so that's one of the one of the highlights and then the second highlight in the year is that there is normally a, a show at Ashby Magna where we have a stand and show off all our tractors and uh, usually welcome outside people to come and have a look at them. And what's the name of that uh, group? It's called the Lutworth and District Tractor and Engine Club. Okay, we'll look out for that. And uh, if anybody says any vintage tractors going by, it's probably one of your guys. Correct. <laughs> Thanks. So, Pete, can you tell me how lockdowns affected you and your organisation this year? Yes, uh, lockdown has affected us greatly this year because there are numerous shows throughout the country and one of the early shows of the year is down in Somerset, uh, one of the first vintage tractor shows, so that was already been cancelled. Uh, there's one uh, later on, end of February, at Malvern called the Three Counties uh, show and again that has been cancelled and there's another big one at Newark in November uh, which is a two-day show and again that has been cancelled. Um, it's very disappointing because at those shows you can meet a lot of people you perhaps only see every every year mm -hmm. and there's also lots of trade stands where you can buy 
stuff that you need when you're uh, renovating a tractor or even running a tractor. So it, it's difficult when you can't go and buy these things off when you see them on the, from all the stands uh, that are offering this stuff for sale. Yeah. So it has affected us greatly. And not being able to see, you, you know, the, the people you normally associate with it, it's 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 really made things a little dull. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is this a rich man's game, or can anybody buy a, a vintage tractor? What kind of sums of money are we talking about? Well, without giving anything away. <laughs> no, it's not a it's not a rich man's game. Although, sorry to say, as things have gone in perhaps the last eighteen months to two years, the prices of these tractors has risen um, at lo several local farm sales and further afield even. The price of some of these vintage tractors is getting really ridiculous. Uh -huh. um, so it, if you need to get one, you best to get one as soon as you can. <laughs> I think that they could be perhaps coming out of reach. <laughs> but it is, a, it is a, a, a very interesting thing to do. It's, it's relaxing. And when you're out in the open air in the day, you really appreciate the um, open air and the, and the beautiful countryside you're in and actually being engaged with moving the soil in a field, preparing it ready for next year's crop. It, it, it is really fulfilling to do that. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I think it's been popular, hasn't it, by a lot of TV programmes like Shed and Buried where, where Henry Cole was always, always looking at tractors he wants to buy and restore. <laughs> quite agree, quite agree. Uh, it, it, it has, the television programmes have promoted it um and i think more and more people have, have perhaps got time to do this sort of thing now whereas they didn't years ago and then there's people like myself that have retired and they look for something to do in that retirement time um you, you know you have to fill your time up with something and it is nice to be able to just mess around with this thing when you feel like doing it <laughs>